In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate textures quickly in DaVinci Resolve. So here you can see I have an image on my timeline. You can go ahead, select any footage that you want, any image that you want. This will work for anything that you want. And the next thing that you need is a texture. So right now I have a texture over here. You can go ahead and select any texture that you want. This will work for any texture. Go ahead and drag your texture on top of your footage or any image that you have in the background. And once you have that, just go ahead and right click on that texture and select open in fusion page. So here we are in the fusion page. And as you can see, we have our texture connected with the media out. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to make sure you have your median selected, which is basically the texture and select this transform. And once you will click on this, this will automatically add the transform node with our texture. So select your transform node and go over to edges and then change this to mirror. Now go ahead and right click over at center, go to modify width and then select shape. Then you will see we have the modifiers tab enabled. Just go over to the modifiers tab and change the smoothness to four. And change the maximum to 360. All right, let's go back to the tools section, which is this transform over here, and then go ahead and right click on the angle as well. And now once again, we will do the same thing. Select modify width and then select shape. Once again, go to the modifiers and once again, we're going to do the same settings over here as well. So four on the smoothness and 360 on the maximum. And now if we go ahead and play this, you will see that this is animating very fast. Now, one thing that you need to do is make sure you have your transform selected and then click control and space. So once you do that, this will open up this effects panel where you can search different effects and search for stop motion then you can press enter and this will add the stop motion right next to the transform and here you can set the stop motion or the frame repeat so let's go ahead and set this to 10. you can go ahead and set this to 5 as well you can set this to any number that you want but i'm going to go ahead with 10 because this is giving a nice effect so if we now play this you will see that this is giving us that effect that we need for the texture to be animating again and again now once you have that go back to your timeline and you will see that this is giving you the effect that you want but as you can see right now this is not covering the whole screen so you can just simply go ahead Make sure that this is selected, your texture is selected and change the zoom. Or you can also go ahead and change the rotation angle to let's say 90 so that this fits the whole screen. And you can go ahead, change the zoom once again to so make sure that this covers the whole screen. And now what you need to do is scroll down and you will see the option of composite. Over here in the composite mode, just go ahead and try out these different settings over here to see that your text where your texture suits the background so for example in my case the texture that i have if i go over at add this is the one that is most suiting the footage or the image that i have so i'm going to select this but according to your texture the kind of texture that you have or the kind of background that you have this will vary so you can go ahead and try out different ones to see which one suits your footage and your texture so over here you can see overlay is also suiting this as well but i'm going to go ahead with the add so once i have selected this let me go ahead and change the opacity and i'm going to set this to 30. and now if we go ahead and play this here you can see that this is looking much nice so we didn't have to do any keyframing this was automatically done with some settings that we did and I've shown you those. So you can go ahead and try these settings for any texture that you have and you will get the same result. 
So I hope you liked the video. Let me know your feedback in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.